Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of neck lymphangioma. A 14-year-old male patient came with left lateral neck lump since childhood or since birth. There was a FNC done for the diagnosis and after that, patient came with the complaint of pain. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. So we have a scan hole of the neck and the thyroid gland in this picture looks quite normal in transverse section. We have measured each lobe and the size and ecotexture look normal. We even check the submandibular glands and also you can see the tonsils here. These are the palatine tonsils. We have uploaded a shot on our YouTube channel which shows the normal tonsil of this patient. Now let's look at the lesion what we want to see today. Here's the section of the left submandibular region. You can see a cystic lesion here just adjacent to the submandibular gland. This is a thin walled unilocular cystic area. You can see the internal content. It's hypoechoic. It's nothing but some debris. So in the neck, if you see this type of cystic lesion at the lateral side, and if the patient gives history of this lesion since birth or since childhood, especially if it is detected at first two years of life, it's very common to be a lymphatic malformation and commonly we say it as lymphangioma. Now lymphangioma is usually anechoic, but here you can see some debris inside. So that may cause confusion. Here's the color Doppler image. We want to exclude it to be a mass. You can see there is no internal vascularity. Some twinkling artifacts are coming from the particles inside. These particles are nothing but the product of hemorrhage or infection. If it was an infective case, the surrounding fat plane would be thickened. You may see some high vascularity at the periphery, which is absent here. So the internal content is nothing but the product of hemorrhage as there is a history of fine needle aspiration, it may be the consequence of that procedure. The lesion is around 4.4 cm into 1.9 cm. You can see the surrounding vascularity and there is no internal vascularity. Here's another picture of the lesion from different angles. So in summary, a well-defined capsulated unilocular hypoechoic cystic lesion with thin wall and internal homogeneous diffuse fine debris seen at the left submandibular region. Color Doppler shows no internal or prominent peripheral vascularity. So this feature is concluded to be a case of neck lymphangioma with the features of prior hemorrhage. The FNSC also suggests it to be a lymphangioma. Now the take home message, if you see a multicystic neck mass with septation and debris with fluid level, it's most likely indicating a lymphatic malformation. Internal fluid fluid levels due to sedimentation and separation of different fluids may suggest prior hemorrhage. And if you see vascularity on color Doppler in the soft tissue around the lesion and in the septa and walls, it indicates an ongoing infective process. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to follow us on other social platforms. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.